For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pastor Joseph. I'm from Advent. We're on the corner of Wyckoff and Godwin. If you take a wrong turn looking for Stonehouse Nursery, you've been to Advent, so it's good to see you again. <laughs> this past week when I saw the picture of Gourmet Garden, I was shocked. But to be honest, I wasn't really all that surprised. I've only lived in Wyckoff for three or four years now. But I've seen the same thing over and over and over again. Justifications for racial profiling, casual anti-Semitism, demonizing of immigrants. So while blatant anti-Asian prejudice is shocking, it shouldn't be wholly surprising to us. And whenever something like this happens in town, there's a line people trot out every single time. They say, this is not who we are. If this is not who we are, then why does this thing happen again and again and again? When people say this is not who we are, what they mean is this is not my experience of Wyckoff. And you're probably right. It probably isn't your experience. But the fact that it isn't your experience doesn't make it any less true, any less real, or any less urgent. I, I, like, I like Wyckoff. It's a nice town. But we have to be honest with ourselves. Wyckoff has a serious problem with how it deals with racism and prejudice. And that gives us two options. One option is to look at the racism and prejudice in our community and say, that's not who we are. To say, this is an exception, that it doesn't really exist. It's probably a teenager. It's just a bad apple. It's not a big deal. But there is another option. There's a word that all of our houses of worship in town use. If you talk to Rabbi Benny at Temple Beth Rishon, he would say it in Hebrew and it's Teshuvah. If you talk to Pastor Andy at Wyckoff Reform, he would say it in Greek, and it's metanoia. If you ask me, my Greek and my Hebrew isn't so good, so I would just say it's repentance. Repentance means when you turn and you walk in a different way than you've been going. So we have a choice here today. We can go back to our easy excuses and say this isn't who we are, or we can choose to repent. We can say that we can be better than this. We can choose to follow our better angels instead of our base instincts. And the hardest part of repenting is the first step. It's realizing that there's a problem and that we have the ability to do things differently. And by showing up here this morning, you have taken that first step to say there is a problem and I am going to put my body in public to say that I am going to work to make sure racism and prejudice has no place in our country, has no place in our state, has no place in our homes, and it has no place in our hearts. My prayer for you today and for this community is that God give us the faith to seek a true justice over a false peace. May God give us the hope to cherish our dreams for the future over our nostalgia for the past. And most of all, may God give us the love to seek the welfare of our neighbors as urgently as we do our own. Thank you very much. God bless you all.